Hello people, this is Spellbinder doing another uh, stereo finding. This one here, well, as you can see, it's another close object to the soul, or to the uh, stereo behind satellite. I mean, this is just as close to the other, but now it's down in the quarter quadrant instead of on the top. Before, the last one was uh, up here. And this one is down here and close to the satellite. I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to do some adjusting of the lighting, brightness, contrast. I'm going to bring up the brightness so you can actually make out the geometrics on it. And it's basically the same thing. It's got these uh, uh, Looks like hallway tubes or like Jason tubes taking you to the bridge, which is right there. It's got the same. Well, this looks more square on this one. Though this one over here, well, actually, they almost look like they got six sides. This one here goes this way, this way, and if I bring up the contrast or bring it down, we bring the contrast down to negative 50 and bring the brightness all the way up this is what you're looking at with everything brought up on it you can see all the detail of the sections of the ship now I'm going to go the opposite way on contrast and go the positive 100 and the brightness is already up and you can see it like that now I'm going to cancel all this because Apparently I need to go back to magnifying. Nope, it won't let me go to the magnifying glass. So I'm going to have to avert everything because I don't really want to save it. Because I want to keep doing adjustments on the same picture. This is what it looked like. Well, let me just bring this up till you get the detail. And there's the sun in itself. There it is down here. And I'm going to bring in the enlargement 146 times. Bring it down here. Some more of these unusual black objects. I'm not really sure. There's spirit. There was a bunch of them earlier on this. Now they're all moved away. And I'm going to see if I can get this. I don't think I can unless I... No, nope, I ain't going to do it either. I got my screen set so I can concentrate on this object. But it is on the uh, 25th of June, 2011. And if I look at it, it is at 9.25.59. So if you go to the behind and forward website you'll be able to find this on the behind at 920 and that's what it looks like I'm going to blow it up a little bit bigger or zoom in on it get it real close now I'm going to go back and do the enhancement again I'm going to do auto red eye fixed I think or auto sharpen Okay, there's the auto sharpen. Now I'm going to enhance the lighting. Brightness and contrast only. That's all I ever really have to do on these. Bring the contrast from zero to positive. I'm going to take all the light out. I'll have to bring up the light if I do that. You can actually see this thing is what it is. I'm going to bring down the contrast to negative 28. Brightness at 137 times. But you can basically see the design on this ship. These ports. I believe these things actually turn. These particular things. That's why they look like a plus sign in some pictures. And it almost looks like that in this one, like the, the ports. This one's facing a little more out this way, that one this way, but these two seem to be facing back. 
I think they can rotate on here around the center, center section of the ship. And again, you have the real round tank on that side. Looks like there's one on this side. It's a little bit of a different angle. I'm going to uh, darken it up and bring up the contrast on it so you get an image like that. And it looks like it's got internal lighting on it. It's not really a glint off the sun even. It's more of an internal engine lighting or something. Maybe impulse engines are back here. These are the main drive engines. Uh, never know. But you still got these little things here. Let me cancel this and do an undo. Take it back to the original image. And then I can actually adjust the magnification for 279%. I'll bring it out to about there. And I will show you the... I can't remember what to call them. They're like a gentian tubes or whatever. They're like passageways to get to this part. And you got things around here. You got... I mean, this is just amazing. I don't want to go too long on this. I'm running out of time as far as I want to make it short. And let's see what we got here. Auto contrast. Uh, that was that. Auto levels. Let's do a red eye fix. Nope, didn't do anything. Uh, just smart fix. I'll just go to auto and that's the auto smart fix for this particular object I think see that's all I messed with and you can see all the uh, detail on this it's, a, it's just amazing how close these get to the satellite and you're able to pick up on them I'm gonna leave that here for now and let you look at this one I say this is the same type of ship going towards the sun in a different angle but it seems to be sitting there observing the sun there seems to be no activity today I've looked at all the maps before I came here and there's nothing unusual or out of place as far as the uh, oh, any of the angles going on here let me see what's the image do. Resize, crop, transform, transform a lot. Free transform, skew, distort. No, I don't need any of those. Convert, color profile, enhance. See, I did some smart fix on it. Adjust the lighting, adjust color. I don't know what exactly adjust color would do for it. I guess I can change the skin tone of it. I didn't do anything, it's working on it. That was an auto adjust. This is at 176 times its size. This is at, uh, right there's 100%. So you can see that's how close it was to the actual satellite. Bring the sun into the picture so you can see that. And I can bring it up a little more. But it's definitely the same vessel coming in at a different angle on a different date. Let me just bring this up the size of the screen. And then do some enhancements here. Let's see, I did auto smart fix. And there's auto smart fix. That's what it looks like. I'm still finding these. Some of them further away, some of them closer to the satellite. Well, I'll let you all take a look at this, I guess. That's about all I have with it. I and mean, these are really detail for the size that I'm at. Let me see, adjust brightness. I can bring this in so you can see what I'm doing here. I'll bring up the brightness. 
and bring up the contrast and I'll move it out of the way I mean, that's pretty detailed for as close as it is that's about as detailed as you can just about get it as I can bring the contrast all the way down to negative 50 and 150 brightness and it looks like that or I can bring the contrast up and it starts to showing the inner shadows instead of blowing them out and this down again go to uh, auto sharp smart fix it again oh, it didn't do any more that looks like about, about what it's going to look like sharpen again that's even sharper let me undo some of this stuff I've done to it that's totally like it was before I did anything and I guess I'll leave it there as it was before I did anything to it but I'll take the zoom out of it take it back down to about 150 uh, 151 and I really don't see any other adjustments I can do for it. That's about the best I can do. But and it's basically the same ship, different angle, different day, coming up on the sun. Until next time, this is Spellbinder Reports, the news, and anything else I come across that's of interest. Until next time, be good, and be good at it.